Hey everyone, this is Daniel with LongRangeOnly.com and today we're going to be finishing up the off-the-shelf theme review on the Christensen Arms 300 Win Mag Ridgeline Rifle. All right, so the biggest thing on this theme was I wanted to do something a little bit different. We've done a lot of rifle reviews where it's been full custom builds. We do full load development for them. Um, when you take your time and do things right, you can pretty much make anything shoot good. Um, this one I went down the, the road of there's nothing custom on this rifle. This is an off-the-shelf theme. I have not modified, bedded, changed anything about the rifle through the whole review, start to finish from um, trying to find a factory load that shoot into it until physically going bear hunting with the rifle. So I've got some pictures I'll throw in here. I did take the rifle apart and show you guys that it does have a carbon fiber mag box inside the, inside the stock here. It does have the trigger tech trigger, comes from the factory with that. So that's kind of nice you do have a custom trigger. We have it set at one and a half pounds. Um, you do have the Christensen Arms carbon fiber wrap barrel that they use on most all their rifles except the Mesa. Now you do have the radial brake and it does come with a thread protector as well uh, in the event that you don't like a brake or don't shoot with one you can use that. Um, now the bolt, they do spend a lot of time on their bolts. They do have the M16 extractor in this one as well and then dual ejector pins. They flute the bolt, they flute the shroud cap at the back and then they also have the fluted bolt knob that's small. The uh, whole thing of this is they are obviously going for a lightweight rifle. This rifle, they advertise it as weigh weighing 6.8 pounds. We just had measured it here just a couple minutes ago in the shop. With the scope set up as you see here, um, bipod and all, it was right at 10 pounds. And then you take the bipod off. This one does have the stainless steel spikes in it and stuff that we like to use. Take the bipod off, rifle with scope is um, 8 pounds. 14 ounces. So again, pretty, uh, pretty awesome package that you get right out, out of the gate. You don't have to edit anything on and I'll show you how it uh, performed for us. When I first got the Christensen Arms Ridgeline Rifle, um, I went into picking out the components for it. Uh, first thing I did is I did want to put the Modular Evolutions bipod on it, so I had to put a rail on the front. The, they make a rail that is on three inch center holes so it bolts directly on there and they send the bolts that are the same thread as the sling swivels so you don't have to drill any holes you don't have to change anything just put a couple drops of loctite on bolt that off and you're ready to go here i then chose the extreme hardcore gear picatinny rail base 20 moa and it has the built-in level in it we've talked about that in some previous uh, reviews and then i also adjusted the trigger again this is the trigger tech trigger uh, you can adjust it right through the bottom here without actually having to take it out of the stock, which is key in my opinion because you can adjust it and see how it feels while you uh, basically have the rifle ready to shoot. We do have it again adjusted at one and a half pounds. Uh, then went into choose an optic for it. You'll see in most of the pictures I've done about this review coming along, I did have the previous version of the Sig Sauer Whiskey 5 um, on that. It's an awesome scope. The glass quality is amazing. I uh, really enjoyed that scope. I'll talk a little bit more about this one coming up. Uh, this is their latest one here. One other thing that I wanted to mention about the Ridgeline rifle is most, uh, or a lot of the Christensen Arms rifles come with an integral rail. The Ridgeline actually does not. It's a standard um, style, seven, Remington 700 style action to where you get to choose the rail you bolt to it. Um, so I, I like a canted rail, so this is 20 MOA canted rail, like I said before. But uh, you can use the lightweight rings that bolt directly to the action. You can use a flat rail. It it's kind of gives you all the versatility that you would ever want there um, because it gives you the option to choose your components and make it your own. Okay, next thing I went down to was selecting the ammunition. Um, tried several different brands, different types of bullets, things like that. Again, off the shelf theme, not going to do load development for this, not going to do hand loads for it. Uh, set out to find a rifle that you could go and buy ammunition for from your sporting goods store. Um, started with a Hornaday 195 boat, uh, boat tail hollow point. Um, shot him okay. It just wasn't really what I was what I was looking for out of this rifle, and I don't I don't I knew that the rifle was capable of more. 
Um, then went to the Hornaday uh, 100 Precision 200 grain ELD axes. It shot these okay. Um, most people would would probably be okay with it. It was about a one into one and a quarter MOA grouping. Um, again, just not what I was after. Christensen does put a sub MOA guarantee on the rifles, and I was in to prove that. So I reached out to him as I was kind of um, getting a little frustrated. And uh, what ammunition do you guys use? And they told me the Nosler um, trophy grade with the 180 grain Acubons in it. I said, okay. And then I also, um, in previous reviews, we did a review on the ABM 300 Win Mag ammo and 215 Burgers. So I um, ordered some of that from Burger as well, and these were the next two I went out to the range to test. Um, I will show some uh, groups in here. The, both of them performed extreme, extremely well. Uh, I honestly, I'll be honest with you, I like the 215 Burger bullet, so I went to it first. Um, went straight to uh, once it was I showed it, it was doing about a I think it measured a uh, picture will show me here 0.348 MOA group at 100 yards I went straight to 300 yards um, again had about a, I think it was about an inch and a half group at 300 yards on a steel plate that I'll show as well um, I was extremely happy with that it almost to the point to where it's like ah do I want to try any other ammunitions because it's shooting so good but again wanted to, to do what Christians recommended so I did go and shoot out the shoot the trophy grade. Um, I'll show a group here. There's three shots in this group. They're extremely tight. You, it's hard to find the third one in there. So both of those ammunitions work extremely well for it, depending on what you like for a, a bullet. This is again a 180 grain. This is the 215. Um, both will be extremely good for uh, big game hunting, which I intend to do with the rifle. So then I uh, I chose to go with the 215 Burger bullet. Um, we, it's the bullet that we like and we've tr tested a lot, so I trust it. Um, we used the Magneto Speed Chronograph on the 26 inch barrel here and got it to read the 2970 feet per second, so that's very respectable for a factory load. Uh, then went into working out some drops. Um, I'll drop in a couple pictures here of a 550 yard steel target that I have around my house that I can shoot cold bore so it's a clean target. I'll show you those here. And you can see those are two separate trips to the range. Um, again, I was mainly concerned as this is a true hunting rifle build I did, what it was going to do with that first cold bore shot. And as you can see it gives you all kinds of confidence in it there. Um, then we went into stretching its legs a little bit. Um, here's a short video that uh, Dad and I shot it was taking a just under 700 yard shot at a grapefruit sized spot on a rock and I'll let you watch that here. Okay, dial up 11 minutes. 11 minutes up. Left three quarter. Left three clicks. Okay, hold right on, little black spot below the X on the rock face. Water's on. Shoot it ready. Go. Hit right on the uh, right on the edge of that little circle at probably five o'clock. So as you can see. Uh, the rifle performed very well. Again, off the shelf. There's nothing custom about this rifle. That's factory ammunition you see me shooting there. Um, it's no wonder that this is one of Christensen's most popular rifles at the price point that it's at and the way we got it to perform with very minimal effort put forth. So um, with that, I, I think you guys can trust it. If you're looking for a rifle that you can maybe just get your feet wet into the long range industry um, this is a very good option to do um, i'm sure everybody has a different way they want to set it up but this is how i chose to do it and you will see a lot of hunting um, from me being done with this rifle it's packable it's repeatable um, i have tons of confidence in this rifle so guys i hope you've uh, enjoyed the review uh, look for more to come on the new whiskey 5 uh, scope line with the level plex in it we're really excited about this and then uh, follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Also, I'll have a discussion thread about this rifle on the Long Range Only forums. If you have any questions, post them there. Um, I will keep an eye on that and answer them as quick as I can.